It is 6 in the morning. I woke up at 4.50 before my alarm went off for a specific reason. So today's video has a specific theme. Today is different. Today's vlog is totally different than the usual vlog. The reason why I woke up this early that morning, even before my alarm went off, is because I had a dream. I had a nightmare. A really bad dream. I don't want to tell you the whole story, but to make it short here, my iPhone got stolen. And in the same second I realized it got stolen, I, I grabbed my MacBook out of my backpack and tracked my phone. I was chasing the thief. Because Apple has this cool function called find my Mac or find my phone. And the app was showing me exactly where the thief is going. I don't know how long it took me, but he was changing trains, buses, all the time. It was just like from a movie, like a chasing scene from a movie. You, red bag, the red bag, stop right there. Put your hands up. It maybe wasn't exactly like in Born Identity, but it was just something like that. <laughs> so before I got my phone back, I woke up and I was checking if my phone was still laying next to me, which it was. and thought for a moment, man, take this dream as an opportunity and let this be today's theme of the vlog. So today's different. I want to talk about safety while traveling, which is also one of my biggest fears while traveling. I also made a movie about that. You can check it out right over here. My two biggest fears going on a world trip. And because every good movie follows the so-called three-act structure, setup, conflict resolution, I want to give you a little bit more context here. Traveling the world for one year and we see wonderful places which we might not gonna see in our whole life again. We want to collect the moments and we want to capture those moments with our camera. Share them with friends, family and also the internet. And to be able to do that, we got a lot of stuff with us. In particular, a lot of technical stuff. Not only these headphones here or these external hard drive from RC, we also got a second backup camera, a telezoom lens, our lenses as well, a drone, an action camera. So all in all, something between eight and 10,000 euros. Yes, it is a lot of money. We got a setup, we're traveling the world for one year, we got a conflict, we got many valuables with us, which are worth a lot. So we now had to find a solution to secure our belongings and to prevent thieves from stealing it. So let's finally start with today's vlog. So a very good tip I got is do not attract attention in general. So maybe just wear unbranded clothing, plain clothes like I do right now. It's just like a plain shirt with nothing on it. Just be like a local. Try to behave like a local. It is very difficult at times, but this already can help a lot. Just one example. No need it and I can't find it. Wait. So the fact given that I'm doing a daily vlog, I'm walking around in most situations with such a big camera setup like here, like the Canon 90D and walking around with such a big camera and a microphone on it looks already quite expensive. And in such situations, I don't feel quite confident. I just use the Canon G7X. I mean, I taped the brand so it's not saying anything on it and I can fit this one also easily in my pocket. And I do not attract any attention, like walking around 
at all times with such a big heavy camera setup. But there are also some other ways how you can protect your belongings and I just want to show you what we use, what we have and how we do it. So before we started our trip we bought some accessoires, accessor, accessor, accessoir, accessories that help us and give us a safe feeling. The first one the first one is the so-called pack safe. It's it's a safe. It's a mobile, easy, lightweight, foldable safe which you can fit easily in your backpack and fold it when you don't use it. This one got an anti-theft technology. So you can see it already here from the material. You got this specific uh, what is it called? Exo mesh. Exo mesh material. So you can't cut it and it makes everything much more difficult to steal your belongings. We tested it out, we got here the 25 liters version, no it's only 15, sorry, only 15 liters version and we can fit in here our drone, our cameras, our netbooks, so everything what we want to protect. You put the camera and all the belongings in it, you close it and then you can wrap it around somewhere you see and no one can can steal it and can it's completely closed it's it's safe the material 360 degree exo mesh stainless steel wire mesh embedded in poly canvas fabric to prevent thieves from breaking in so it sounds already super secure so we also can use it when we going to the beach for example we both want to go into the water and we have a camera with us we can just wrap it around the tree at the beach but we also could use something else for that so just let's say just let's say we we are at the beach we also got this the so-called tri bag because while we were kayaking on Kopipi Island, we put the drone in here, folded it right here, so we could either choose to put everything in the dry bag and to take it into the water, or we can leave it at the beach in a pack safe. We also got such T TSA lockers, which can be opened by their airport security, but which are also super safe to thieves. Uh, I think I don't need to say anything about it. I mean, these are lockers. You can lock stuff and just protect it from being it stolen. Maybe you also remember when I said in the beginning that you shouldn't attract attention in general. <laughs> when I bought this day pack, it was super important to me that it's not obviously a camera technical bag. So some people said it is quite obvious, but I don't think so. I mean, it's a, it's a bag. And the biggest future with this bag is um, let, let me show you. So first of all, it's a bag with many different pockets and when you want to open it, you got these zippers right over here, but these clippers right over here makes it a little bit more difficult to access what's inside this bag. And when you open the pocket of the bag, you can already see the inlay, the inlay for the camera lenses and stuff. But what you can't see, and this is in my opinion the biggest future this bag has, it's like a two-in-one. It's like a hide it pocket for the MacBook. Because it's here right at the side. You can open it easily, access to the MacBook while on the go, editing in a train, in a bus, whatever. But while wearing this backpack, you can't really see that here's a pocket at the side, which makes it the best future this bag has, in my opinion. Doing a daily vlog, I got a lot of video material and to back it up, I use this Lassi external hard drive, 5 terabytes. I still got some storage left on this one, but when this one is full, I got a server. And to access this server or in general access the internet while on the go using public Wi-Fi, we're also using VPN, NordVPN, which is so-called Virtual Private Network. Hackers have many methods to steal your data on public hotspots, but with a VPN connection, your online traffic is invisible to them. So that's why we use it 
on our MacBooks and on our phones as well. It automatically locks in and you can also change the location which is also beneficial when you're streaming like on Netflix or on Amazon because not all the movies are available in all the locations worldwide. So you can change location and have also access to other movies which is very good. But I always ask myself what if this bag with the drone, the camera, the lens and all the many valuables get stolen. And my solution for this is an air tag. I think I don't need to explain what it exactly is, but with this you, you can put this everywhere. You can attach this to your keys, to your backpack, put it in a pocket. You can just track this and this makes me just feel a little bit safer and gives me a chance, I mean even if the chance is super super small to get my backpack back, get my backpack back, get my backpack back, just in case it gets stolen. And while using the app Find My on an iPhone or on a Mac, you can see within the app all your devices. And when you click on it, you have different options to choose from, like playing a sound. Can you hear it? You could also choose the function like here, find my, and it then shows you 2.4 meters ahead and there it is. And that's actually it. I mean, you can play a sound, you can find it nearby, and you can enable a so-called lost mode, which is crazy. I mean, technique nowadays, it's, I just had to get it. And it gives me a much safer feeling. Oh, and this battery, by the way, from this AirTag lasts approximately one year. So we should be good. And you can also check the battery here on the in the app on your phone which is now saying fully charged but there's still one thing left and we have to admit that we haven't used it yet not once on our trip but a door alarm I, I don't need to explain it in detail it's super easy to understand but you just got this, you got these two connectors right over here and you just clamp them, let me show you. So we got these two connectors right over here, you put them together and you just clamp them in between of the drawer. And you can also use the cable to hang it onto the, just like this, that's it. And when someone comes in and these two connectors lose the connection, the alarm goes off. And it is super, super loud. We haven't used this one before, but I can imagine that we might use it on this trip. And that's it. See you in the next one. Should have done the bed before. Okay, this looks better.